Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here. I'm trying a new little setup. The camera's a little bit further back than it usually is. I don't like that you can see the mirror, but we're just gonna go with it. So, it's been brought to my attention that one of my most popular videos I've filmed so far is on mascara beauty. And I didn't give it a very good review. One, the review itself, like the filming and everything isn't amazing quality because I don't know what I'm doing. And two, I didn't really like it. Um, I did go back and purchase a couple more colors though. And so now I have four light cream shades and four like bronzer deeper shades. Um, I did not like any of the powder products or any of the highlight products or the blush products. And so I still have those in my collection, but I don't have them in my palette here. But I figured, hey, I have some time. It was a popular video. Maybe I should give it a second go and see if my opinion changed. Um, right after it, so I really haven't played with it much since then, um, I did for like the next couple days after um, filming that video, I played around with it and I kind of got it down, but that was weeks, if not months ago. I don't remember anything about this product. And quite frankly, I don't want to have to have a learning curve. So I'm gonna jump back in, try to remember what I did that I liked about it and see how the second go goes, if that makes sense. Jeffree Star brush coming through. All right. So I have all that off. I'm gonna try to reconfigure this camera real quick because this is way too far away. You can't see what's going on. So give me a minute. So much better. So I feel like the lighting is a little bit off, but at least you can like see my face now. All right, so I'm gonna get all this out of the way. I'm trying to make it because I always feel like my camera, when I had it, I have a clamp and a system that hooked onto my desk, but anytime I touched my makeup area like it shook and it drove me absolutely crazy so i'm sure it drove you guys all crazy which i'm moving it now i'm just gonna stop all right i am in sand of the day it's 5 30 but i'm gonna give this a good go i'm gonna try and put my best products on to make it have the best shot possible so i'm putting day wear matte from estee lauder Okay, that's on. I gave it a second to dry. Now I'm also gonna put on my e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist. I sometimes spray this on my face if I haven't already done my hair, but I've already done my hair. So I like to spray it on my fingers, just two or three sprays. And then I just tap it on. And actually, this review is gonna be on hold for me for a while, but for you, it's gonna be like a blink of an eye because I just got a message from my husband saying that he's on his way home, um, but he is on call and he apparently has an OB in labor. So I have to go get dinner cooked really fast because looks like he's gonna be at the hospital all night. So for you, I'll be back in just a moment. For me, I'll see you in like an hour. And I'm back. It's been a solid two hours. All right, we're gonna say solid. It's been an hour and 45 minutes since I filmed that last clip. Um, ben came home and I had to cook dinner really fast and then it was cleanup dinner. Ben left um, while I was cleaning up and then the boys needed baths and like read and homework and bedtime. So it is now 7.15. I still have the same stuff on my face, which it still lasts just as good. This look is not looking as good as it was. Hold on. How did I get it up so cute the first time? I went outside to get the mail when I was walking Ben out. And my neighbor drove by and I felt crazy having like a pencil in my hair or makeup brush. So whatever. In turn. The lighting's off a little bit because it is dark now. Yay. Um, so sorry about any difference. And I like moved everything all around. So it's already starting out super professional, super good. I like it. So I'm gonna put on another little spritz of this, not really for the oil factor, but the wetness factor. That just sounds really weird. 
um, just so it kind of glides on my face a little bit better because it is a cream product. I just put on more of the e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist. I am going, so I, I try this a couple different ways. And so I'm going to get all my brushes out that I've done in the past. So I have a wet beauty blender. Nope. It's a beauty sponge from Morphe. I'm going to get out pretty much all my cream brushes that I have just to make this easy. And it's the witching hour. So my dogs are going crazy. So if you hear them in the background, it's because we have a puppy. We have a like year and a half year old female basset and we have a five month old male basset puppy. So at nighttime is when they go crazy. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer. Woo, that's like close. So hi, I mean, bye, cause that's a little too close. So you can see, um, I actually have pretty, I think my skin looks better now than it did um, last time that I filmed this. I have a mirror right here, so if I'm looking this way, that's why. Um, my skin looks pretty good. Um, I don't have any really big blemishes to cover up, just some redness. So I'm gonna try not look in the viewfinder and don't wanna look in the mirror, but uh, it's the end of the day. So like I said, this is mascara. Mascara Beauty, I think is what it's called. I have this little compact that holds eight different um, Z pens, Z pans, something in it. I don't know. They magnetic in, so I have four skin tones, and then I have some bronzers and contours. So we're just gonna go in. I know there's tons of tips and tricks. Um, a lot of people left some suggestions underneath my last one, which I really liked. Um, I'm just gonna go in. I'm actually gonna go between these two shades right now because this one's a little bit too yellow for me, but this shade's a little bit too dark. And so I mix it between the two of them. This is just on a little Japanese, And I'm going to just dab this on into my areas where I like to highlight. And I'm just going back and forth between the two, just dabbing into it. And do that I'm just getting all the excess off my brush now <laughs> you hear the dogs out there they're just crazy oh such a pretty look all right um I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up my normal foundation brush that I use this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH03 and instead of like smearing in, I think I found um, tapping it in definitely works better and sits on the skin a nicer way for me. So I'm just gonna go through and do that. This area, um, I'm kind of just sharing it out. And then I'm gonna put a darker shade there for the bronzer and contour. So there's no real point and putting too much coverage there because I'm just gonna put a darker shade there in just a second. So I'm gonna save myself some product. Same up here, I'm gonna put some of the darker shade up here. I don't need crazy full coverage. I'm in it. I go back and forth between liking full coverage makeup and light coverage and right now I'm more so into the light coverage and I'm into the how fast I can get makeup put on and so Usually for me, that means light coverage. So I'm just stippling it on, going down my neck. Mm, the color match isn't perfect, but I do have a little bit darker of a shade here. So I'm gonna go into actually both of those. So now I have all four colors on my face. And I'm just gonna put that around the top of what we just laid down just to deepen it up just a little bit before I put the bronzer down. So far I don't hate it. It's not sitting on my face as much as I would like it to. So I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge and just kind of tap it out. giving me the coverage that I want for sure I just can definitely see it sitting on my chin and that's not what I'm a huge fan of and it's not really collecting on my nose 
Yeah, it's not like, I can't get it to stay on my nose. Which that was an issue I had with it the first time too, I believe. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over to the bronzer and contour shades over here. And I'm gonna pick up a different brush for this. First, I'm gonna go in to this contour shade right here. It's definitely a little bit more firm. Um, the other ones are more creamy, so kind of have to work at it to get some of the color. But that's okay because I'd rather have not enough color and have to keep building than too much. And then you're like, oh crap. So this is an ashy color because it's meant to look like a shadow. So I'm going to start out with this and then I will layer up some um, of the deeper shades on top as a bronzer. Put the same shade up here. Same place I would always put my normal contour if it was a powder product. So if you are new here and this is your first video you've ever seen of me, I have oily skin. Um, I used to have dry skin, but over the last couple years with hormone changes, I now have oily skin. So I will set all of this with a powder. So I just looked at this in normal lighting because obviously I have my filming lights on behind me and so it's really reflecting a lot lighter than it is. When I was just looking in this mirror real quick because I may or may not have to, to go very nicely, tell my children to go to bed for the thousandth time. Um, it's looking a lot better than I, I can tell in the viewfinder so hopefully it's coming across on camera that way. So I'm going to go... This is a little bit too deep of a shade for me right now. So I'm gonna go between these two cream shades right here. Um, just very, I'm just like tapping. I'm not swooshing, I'm just tapping to get a very little bit amount. Like there's not very much on my brush at all. And then I'm just gonna stipple it in on my cheeks, around my temple. And we'll blend it all out in just a second. And do it around my temple. I will say it's already going on a million times nicer than it did the first time I tried this. There's basically nothing left on here, but I'm just stippling this around my lip. Makes your lip look a little bit bigger, like I got injections but I didn't again there's like hardly anything on here I'm just stippling it on the side of my nose just threw that on the ground yeah this looks pretty good like I'm pretty impressed with this right now it's blending together absolutely beautifully um granted it's the end of the night so I can't really do a long wear test on it but when I have my typical skincare on that usually makes whatever makeup I'm wearing last pretty well so I'm sure it will handle it just fine I don't know I really like it and I don't need to cut it too crazy much because I'm still gonna set it with a powder but here let me bring you in kind of close like kind of close so keep in mind Nobody's skin looks perfect, especially when I'm bringing you up this close. Like I always expect my skin to look smooth and flawless, but that's not gonna happen, especially with these kind of lights on and especially when I'm gonna bring you in as close as I'm gonna bring you in. So as you can see, there's still, like you can still see pigmentation, but I don't mind that. I like it a lot. I think that this is really pretty, super doable. That was super fast. Um, I'll put you back out there. I'm going to set it real quick and since I have you here I might as well just walk you through that too. Um, I'm going to use the same setting products um, that I always use even when I'm using a different foundation. So I'm going to go in with a banana powder and brighten up from Essence and I'm going to pick it up on a little powder puff from Sephora. I'm just going to tap that under my eyes. The banana powder, yes it's yellow, but it doesn't really come off as yellow. It comes off as a brightening. So I'm just gonna put that under my eyes, on my chin, and then the top of my T-zone, and slightly underneath my cheek contour. 
Then I'm gonna pick up NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat um, powder foundation, and I'm gonna pick this up on a big powder brush. I'm just gonna dap it in just a little bit and then tap this over everything. I'm not looking for coverage so much. I'm looking for setability. So, setability, is that a word? It is now. I took some down my chin, so I'm gonna make sure that that's set around my nose, around my eye. And then also because when I did the powder puff, I didn't, I put excess on. So now this is picking up the excess. I'm gonna tap that around as well. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna pick up a dual fiber brush and blend it all together, making sure that all the cream product is now set with powder because I am oily skinned. I always set my foundation no matter what foundation I am wearing. Now it is all, the tackiness is gone, the stickiness is gone, so I can go on from here. I will put my normal products on um, that I would always wear over the top. Today I'm gonna pick up my Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's my summer shade. I need my winter shade. My Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in cappuccino, which it's still a little dark for me, so I'm just gonna go in light-handed, tap that off, put some on the back of my hand, make sure it's not too much. Um, I'm using a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02 brush. It's got a nice shape to it, like it's domed. I absolutely love this for bronzer. I'm not going to contour contour, I don't really contour very often. I do it with a cream product and then I'll just go over with a bronzer. Unless it's a super special occasion. Um, I just don't need to be chiseled because also my chiseling isn't fooling anybody. We all know how big my cheeks are. I'm gonna carry this around my forehead. Wherever the sun would naturally hit your face. That's where you want it to be. I just dapped in once. I'm gonna shake it off again and then do it on the sides of my nose. I don't really have an issue with my nose and so I don't contour it, but I also want it to look like it got hit by the sun. Same with my chin. I don't try to contour away my double chins because hello, she's here, she's staying, she's not going anywhere. But it also looks really funny if the color isn't blended throughout the face. And so I just put on just a little bit. Again, I'm picking up a dual fiber brush. I'm gonna blend it all together. This is my way, I do this no matter what makeup application I am doing. After powder, after bronzer, after blush, after highlight, because nothing ruins a look more than unblendedness. Is unblendedness a word? I mean, it is now. Hello, it's the end of the night. Oh, I was I want to say it's a super, super crazy long week and it's been a week, but it's Wednesday, but it's been a week. Like my children. Ooh, good thing mama's going on vacation. We're going to Vegas. All right. Next, I am going to pick up a highlight. I'm picking up the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow in medium. This is without a doubt, one of my favorite highlights. Except for, I've also recently fallen in love with this Patrick, Patrick Star Hot and Heavy Face Powder, but we're gonna use this one for right now. I go on with a blush brush that I use purely just for highlights. I don't really want just a set line of highlight, and so I like to put it on a blush brush, and I like to do it underneath my blush so I can diffuse it out some more. And then I'll put my blush over the top because I'm over 30 now. I shouldn't be like looking like I'm going to a strip club or a nightclub, whatever you want to call it. Um, which even when I was under 30 and I wore a highlight like that, I wasn't going to a strip club. So why that popped into my mind, I don't know. So I put on the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, and whatever's excess, put on my forehead and my chin, which I don't know why I do that because I don't like looking oily, so I always take it away later, but I've always done it, so I'm always gonna do it. Again, pick up the same brush, go back through, blend it all away, pick up the same, same but different, blush brush. They're the same brush, same Morphe. One's Jacqueline's brand and this, or er, Jacqueline collab, and this one's in the rose gold. I'm gonna pick up a blush. I'm gonna go into 
my blush bazaar from Amazon, the Amazonian clay blush bazaar from Tarte. I'm just gonna go through a couple blushes, tap that on the top. And whatever's excess, I'm gonna put on my nose again and the tips of my forehead and my chin because it's all gonna look cohesive. If we got sunburn on the cheeks, that means we got sunburn everywhere else. I am so excited that this is turning out the way I like it. Okay, I'm just gonna do a real simple eye look real quick. I'm just gonna go back into my bronzer. I don't even know if you can consider this an eye look. Pick up an eyebrow brush. Nope, not eyebrow, eyeshadow brush. Throw this through the crease real quick. I picked up the summer bronzer by accident, so that's a lot darker than I was anticipating. Since it's a lot darker than I was anticipating, I'm just gonna improvise and put a little bit of, of my powder foundation just to help blend it out and tone it down some. See, look, even YouTubers, not that I'm a YouTuber, I mean, I wish I was, but we all know I don't have the stats for it, but even we make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. You just move on. Okay, now I'm going to jump into the Flower Beauty Highlight Palette real quick, which this is like phenomenal, like so blinding. That brush is too big. Let's go into a smaller brush. Um, I'm going to go into the pale pink shade, put this in my inner corner. And a little bit of the gold underneath here. Take a brush that has nothing on it and blend it out, blend it out. Any excess on my nose. All right, now I'm gonna set it real quick. I'm just gonna use the Evian facial spray real quick because I don't need it to be long lasting because I'm taking this off in an hour. But it does the same. I love the way that that feels. Okay, I'm gonna fan it. I'm doing exactly like I would do with any of my foundations. So I always go back in over with the fan and my beauty sponge, tap off the excess powder, make sure it's sitting down and drying down. All right, I'm just gonna touch up my brows real quick. Purely for the sake of the video. Oh my goodness, my children are jumping around up there and they should be in bed asleep. Those are not pretty brows, but they will work. I will take it. All right, I'm gonna throw in a little bit more mascara. This is the Maybelline Last Sensational. Oh, this was just filled in with the Precisely My Brow from Benefit. I already have mascara on, so it's always hard to put like more mascara on over dry mascara. I'll just put on Super, super simple, but my favorite Revlon Kiss chapstick. It's tinted, I have it in like every shade. Smells good, feels good, has SPF. Can't go wrong. You guys, I think I like it. Like no joke, I have a hair touching me. Ugh. I think I like it. I'm super excited. The only thing is, I think that I just need to practice making my shade better and I have multiple shades um all of the one I will say it's kind of hard to find your perfect shade I have noticed that but with that there's so many different undertones and shades that you could build your own easily enough and at first I thought that these palettes were so stupid small I thought it was a ripoff but really you don't need that much like at all you don't need that much like it's gonna last a really long time especially these bronzers these 
look like I've barely even touched them. But ooh, it's on there, it feels good. It's a little cakey around here, but that all my makeup cakes around there, so I'm not even mad at it. Ugh, I'm just so excited. Like, there was a point in the very beginning where I was like, why am I even filming this? I've had to start and stop multiple times, but I just felt bad that I didn't like it as much at first because so many people do like it. But I still stand by the fact that 90% of the reviews that are positive on YouTube are people who sell it. Yes, I am giving it this a positive review. I do think it's still, it's annoying that there has to be a learning curve with it. It's annoying. I don't think it's as easy to find your perfect shade. And I think it's annoying that the um, the amount of product is kind of small, but I still think it's a good product. Like I'm trying to, I don't know why I'm trying to like downplay it, but I do think it's a good product. I love the way it's sitting on my face right now. All my other products are sitting on my face perfectly fine. I do not like the powder products. I do not like the blush and I do not like the highlight. From what I saw online, I picked the blinding highlight and you could not even see it. It was not worth, especially if you couldn't even see it when it was still cream, but then I'm gonna set my face with powder so then you absolutely couldn't see it and so it wasn't worth it. That's why I have the four bronzers and the four face colors now, um, which that's like the way to do it. It is a little bit messy. I mean, every time I open it and close it, I feel like I stick a finger in it. Um, but for traveling wise, I think it's perfect. I love the magneticness of it. It's got a mirror. It's nice and compact. I think this palette is super cute. I think if you buy eight pans, you get a free palette for free and then it goes up from there. So definitely look out for deals. Um, I suggest getting the palette. I mean, it would fit in a normal Z palette, but I love how compact this is. Like, it's so perfect. So yes, I am giving it a positive review, but no, I do not sell it. No, I do not plan on selling it. I don't even remember who I bought it from. I bought it through a friend that was hosting a party, but she doesn't sell it. So, I mean, find a local one near you and purchase it if you think that's a, if you think that this is for you. I honestly don't know how someone with dry skin would like it because I have oily, oily skin, but then I have dry-ish in areas and where it's kind of dry, that's where it kind of is collecting. So I feel like if you had dry skin that this might not be a product for you, even though it is a cream product, but it just holds on to the patchiness right there. And maybe it's because I set it with powder. I don't know, but I'm never, I'm never going to not set my face with powder. So yeah. I mean, I feel like this got wrapped up really fast. I feel like my last one got wrapped up really fast. I always have like the best intention, the best intentions when I want to film, but <sighs> life of a mom, life of a stay at home mom, something's always at the door. Someone's always needing something. I mean, right now to the end of the night, my boys are still not sleeping. The dogs are going crazy out there. My husband's out at the hospital delivering a baby who knows when he's gonna be home, which means who knows when I'm gonna go to bed and who knows why I'm telling you all of this. I mean, I guess it's not an Amanda video if I don't ramble at the end. So you're welcome. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, 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 subscribe. And in my last video, there was tons of people that left comments underneath it. So if you have any questions or wanna know more about it, uh, look at my video that I'll link down below of my first impressions of Mascara Beauty. Um, there was a whole bunch of comments on that video. So A, there are people who probably have the product. B, they might sell the product if you're looking to sell it. Or there was a lot of good suggestions on there if you want to go back and look at those. And or maybe they'll leave some more suggestions underneath this one as well. But again, my name is Amanda. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm kind of a hot mess, but that's, that's YouTube, isn't it? Yeah. All right, guys. Bye.